of the Intrepid are aircraft from the Marines, the Air Force, and the Navy. And there's a British Harrier up there, a French jet, and a Polish jet. And there's also a mock-up of the plane George Bush Sr. to give it to them, to turn it into a museum. Now, one of the best aircraft that are on the deck is the Blackbird. Now, the Blackbird came in three different models. And the Blackbird, you can see it coming into view. You're going to get a better view of it, though, once we go past it. The Blackbird was a reconnaissance jet that flew 90,000 feet above Russia, taking pictures. And it flew at three times the speed of sound. Mach 3. There's the crane on the side lifting up the, the capsule. The yellow, it's got the yellow uh, uh, balloons or, or lifesaver um, inflated. CBS Evening News, it's where Channel 2, the local affiliate of CBS, is located. It's where we do 60 Minutes, the news program 60 Minutes, all in here. Coming up on our right. Judge Judy is uh, is on CBS. She's right here on the right. She, I, I, I'm not sure if she does. I don't think she does her program here. So look at here. Look at this group of people here. They're obviously they're looking for black young actors. These are actors waiting to go to an audition. in New York City, in fact, in the entire United States. Look up that way. Who moves up that way when the park is finished? The Rockefellers, the Astors, the Whitney's, the Morgans, the Carnegie's, the Posts, the Fricks, the Rothschilds, the multi-billionaire families of what Mark Twain called the Gilded Age. Fifth Avenue, they built their mansions along Fifth Avenue along the park with the park on the other side. Here's Judy Garland with Fred Astaire. On the avenue, the avenue. The Apple Store. Remember the Penny Marshall film, Big, with Tom Hanks, and he plays the piano on the floor of F.A.O. Schwarz right there, off to the left, the toy store. And ladies, would you like to buy a dress that costs more than $10,000? This is your store coming up on the right, Bergdorf Goodman. They hire the best window designers in the world, and each window is a work of art. Every three weeks, they change them. No price tags on the merchandise. And if you talk like that, you don't shop over here. Yeah, I want to look at the merchandise. What's the price on here? The most famous store. I'm going to get the good. Thanks, you. Yeah. Any yellow? Light? The most famous store, Armani. This church is the Fifth Avenue Presbyterian, 1875. Look at this hotel, the St. Regis. You know who lived in here off and on 20 years? Salvador Dali. All kinds of famous people lived in New York. I mentioned the Rockefellers. They really have a big influence in this area. Nelson Rockefeller was the governor of New York State three terms, 12 years. And then Gerald Ford made him the vice president of the United States in the early 70s, after Nixon resigned. Well, right around the corner on 54th Street, number 13, is where Nelson Rockefeller died in 1979. And when he died, they found out three days later his blood pressure was 70 over 25. Since in fortitude. See them guarding the entranceway. They're postage stamps. That's how famous they are. And that's the library. You know what the old joke is? You go in there to read between the lions. <laughs> I mean, is that good or what? Come on. It's corny. I love it. Patience and fortitude. We're taking this left turn. Now, when we do, folks, we go to the east side. That's the west side. Fifth Avenue is the divide.
General Secretary building in the middle, and uh, this is where uh, all the uh, many of the uh, delegates from uh, countries throughout the world will come and uh, meet in order to resolve some of the world issues. Uh, lots of security here. Flags from the countries that, that are members of the United Nations. I'm going to give you some commentary as we're going along, but uh, for the most part, uh, you heard a lot of it from Eddie this morning. And a couple of things I want to happen for you. You know, I want to give you ears a break uh, because I know that sometimes, you know, it's overwhelming to listen to a lot of this stuff. You know, on a long tour like this, it becomes a blur. But, uh, you know, at one point, uh, I'll put some music on. I have uh, purchased uh, DVDs and to give you a little flavor before we arrive at a destination. So later on this afternoon, I'll put on a DVD of Boston, and uh, I have a list for other places. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. With uh, you know, you'll have a tour guide at each of our major locations. We'll probably have a DVD. A curse and a blessing at the same time, because I was just informed the other day that in Quebec City on September 10th. There is a major world-class cycling, biking event going on right in the old city, right where we want to be. So, that will pose a challenge for us, but we'll be fine. Uh, Puget knows the area, the uh, Willis Avenue Bridge, and uh, off further off to the right is uh, Randall's Island. The Willis Avenue Bridge is a swing bridge and it connects First Avenue with Willis Avenue in the Bronx. We drove them in 1901, and as you can see, it's, it's uh, under repair. In 2005, uh, the city of New York tried to sell this bridge, and they put $1 on the cost of the bridge plus our removal, and uh, to date, there have been no takers. Anybody want to buy a bridge? Only a dollar. Well, so many millions to reduce. Well, they are. Two blocks to the south of the square. The one side of the square is the Boston Public Library, which was the first library.
a little bit of James Taylor music. Uh, James Taylor from Massachusetts. And uh, Mike, you've seen it, right? You can it. Uh, I'll try and give you a little bit of music as we go along. Uh, a little bit of music that's appropriate to the region or the country. So in Canada, we'll play a little uh, bit of uh, Celine Dion. And uh, anybody know that guy named Michael Bublé or anything? Is there, any, is there anybody named Michael Bublé in the world? So, uh, anyway. so we'll do a little bit about that. And we're going to get off on, uh, is it the next one? Are you right? 18. Look uh, straight ahead, you see the John Hancock Tower right in front of you, downtown Boston. Yeah, that's it. And to the right of it, there's the, uh, anyone know the other tower? Here's the test now, you watch the DVD. You weren't sleeping, were you? Who, who said yes? Come oh, on, this is a test for school. So the John Hancock Tower is on your left at about one o'clock. On your left at about, say, one o'clock. What's the tower to the right called? It has a wonderful restaurant. It's a big insurance company in the United States. Begins with a PRU. Prudential, right. Very good. Very good. And there's the Boston skyline down off to the right. The Pru and the John Hancock Tower. If the John Han if the Prudential was an insurance company, what do you think John Hancock is? An insurance company. It's, uh, not because she's happy to see me or something. <laughs> Yo. One of the questions was uh, just about, I saw these giant piles covered in uh, plastic tarpaulins. Um, what that is is salt. They salt the roads uh, because we get a lot of snow and we get a lot of ice. So sand and salt. Pretty successful. But uh, Starbucks is very different coffee than Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks is a stronger coffee, so do you like that? Our hotel is right down, kind of at the dip in the hill there but uh, we can't cross over the tracks until we go out and around. This is a nice area if you want. Trader Joe's got a uh, store over there. Whoops, hold on. There's uh, a variety of different types of foods. 